Inside your account, you have two ways to categorize your contacts. The first being that overall category of their audience, which we have your sphere, leads, and past clients. We do include an uncategorized audience, and that's really left in place for things like vendors or other agents, those contacts that don't necessarily fall into your three main hubs. From your audiences, you do have the option to create tags. So your tags and audiences are both under the same section to the left-hand side. You'll click on view tags to get to that section. And tags are where you're able to create subcategories of audiences if you need to, like open house contacts that are still leads, but that tag would be open house. You can also create your own category like previously other agents or vendors and not have that tag associate with an audience in any way. So to create a tag, you'll click create tag in the upper right hand corner. And that name is going to be whatever you want that tag to be. So open house. And then you have the option to link it to an audience or not. So my open house contacts would obviously be leads. And what you're doing by clicking the save button is basically saying, hey, anybody that's tagged as open house, push to the leads audience. Um, and that way, anytime someone is tagged that way, they're automatically pushed to the leads as well. The other way of doing so, you can create a tag, and this can be just for anybody that needs to be uploaded but not added to an audience. So let's just do vendor. There we go. So vendor, if I just wanted to have that tag, this is all you need. You'll click the save button. My computer is running slow. Um, but you'll click the save button. You can upload to the vendor tag. You'll be good to go. It won't attach to an audience. Um, the section that says, does this tag need a leads inbox? That's really if you need to have email parsing set up for another system or not. That we can dive deeper into if you need to, or feel free to reach out to our support team. Um, but otherwise, you're free to create as many tags as you would like within your account. It's definitely for how it helps you categorize your contacts. Um, your audiences are a set section, so you can't add audiences. But again, if you need something outside of the ones that are given, just go ahead and create a tag and upload your contacts that way.